In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Look to him and be radiant so your faces shall never be ashamed. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are those who take refuge in him. Grace is Heavenly Father. We as thy children come to your throne of grace. This morning as we have entered into this new month, O oh Lord, we thank you for the grace you have given to all of us to overcome all the six months of this year and entered into the seventh month as we have come to your presence to worship you, to magnify thy name, to glorify you, Lord, for what you are in our lives even today. We are alive because of thy grace and mercies. O oh Lord, you continue to be with us and bless us. Help us, Lord, that we will continue to test you in our every life experiences and also exalt you, Lord, and we'll testify how the Lord has been so good to all of us. Once again this morning, you bless our service. Let this dawn service be a, bring more meaning to us and also, Lord, speak to us through thy servant. Let thy word come to us, Lord. All glory to your name. We pray in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. This morning service, let us sing. Praise Him, praise Him. Let us look unto the Lord in prayer for this whole month. Let us seek His guidance and also His presence in all our endeavors. Let us bow down and worship Him and speak to Him. Gracious Father, once again, we thank you, Lord, 
what a great god we worship in our lives the lord of host the lord one who hears our prayers you are very attentive to us and we need not to worry about anything but lord we can bring everything in prayer we believe in such a wonderful name the name of jesus whose name is exalted above all other names on the earth oh lord this morning on the first day of this month we exalt you we praise you we honor you we worship you lord oh lord jesus we thank you because you are our savior and you are our redeemer you are our rock of salvation in whom we trust in whom we move we speak everything therefore master we thank you for the breath you have given to us and also lord we thank you for the grace you have extended to all of us the health and also all that you have added into our lives as we have entered into this new month continue to be with us lord and guide us let the holy presence go before us in all our endeavors of this month master god we thank you because you are such a wonderful god who heard our prayers heard our cries and also had seen our pains and problems and you have relieved us lord and we thank you for your present help in the time of troubles sicknesses ailments and problems in our lives this morning we look back for the last 6 months we had gone through various problems difficulties in lives situations lord but lord you had been with us and also blessed and you continued your grace with us lord therefore this morning with a grateful heart we want to say thank you lord we praise you and we worship you lord and also this morning once again we come to your throne of grace praying for the various needs of our ourselves and also for our church and for our nation oh lord this morning we thank you for our ministries in ananagar matri church the sunday school the youth fellowship engadal fellowship women fellowship and men fellowship thank you lord for the elders fellowship continue to bless our organization and also all its leaders as they continue to give leadership let thy holy hands continue to guide all of us lord this morning we thank you for our outreach ministries at sidambaram and vaidyasan koil you bless them Master God this day we especially seek your guidance in our lives as we are going to enter into this new month and also Lord going for our job thank you for the relaxation in the lockdown and as we move around you be with us and bless us Lord especially i pray for all the members and also Lord for our people who are in various needs you bless them let this new month the new day bring new beginning to many of us lord in our career in our day to day activities in our spiritual activities let in let everything we will see the power of god and the anointing of god o oh master we thank you for our children and also for our grandchildren all that you added into their lives the new classes as they are going to enter in and also lord the new career you have given to our children you bless all of them we also lord pray for the all those who are in higher positions and also struggling to get the promotions and also lord new avenues in their lives we pray for all those who are planning to do new things in this month you be with them and bless them lord and all those who would like to go for the new job you be with them and all those who are struggling to survive we pray for such kind of people who are especially who are in great need financially and also emotionally those who are disturbed we pray for such kind of people we also pray for the mothers and fathers who are lonely and also fighting for their survival you bless them lord we also this morning pray for all those who are live on the streets those who do not have anything to carry on we pray for such kind of people who are wondering how to move in this month oh lord we pray for such kind of persons also we also pray for 
all those who are in higher positions you bless them lord the those who are in power those who are in ruling you be with them and bless them lord those who are in authority they will also exercise authority for the grace of god master this morning we thank you for our chief minister and also the cabinet ministers of tamil nadu and also we pray for all the chief ministers of india and all uh, all our uh, the union government ministers you be with them and bless them lord oh lord we pray that let this month bring new hope to the people around the world and also we thank you lord that as the governments around the world are uh, trying to bring more vaccinations you be with them lord and we especially pray for the companies which are also uh, trying to uh, um, produce more manufacture more vaccinations you be with them and bless them lord lord once again this morning we pray with a great hope and also lord we look for your strength to carry on our uh, day to day activities with the special grace of god we this morning as thy children come to you once again praying for the various needs of our church members and whatever may be their needs you meet each and every one of our needs lord according to thy as grace and also thy power and and also by thy spirit lord this morning we pray for reverend paul singh as he has come with thy word you be with him and bless him lord let the word whichever is going to proceed from his mouth will be a great blessing to all of us as a promise as an encouraging word and also a word of encouragement continue to our lives and we also lord thank you and praise you because the words which has Uh, return in the bible which is spoken is always strengthening our faith and continues to help us to grow go on grow in and also lord we thank you and praise you for all that you are doing in our lives especially once again we thank you lord for all the blessing you added into our church all the new beginnings people are trying to take from this month onwards you be with them and bless them all glory and honor to your name we pray in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ who taught us to pray our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom power and glory forever and ever amen god in his mercies has enabled us to complete half of this year and when we take few moments to think that oh how six months have gone by it reminds us of his mercies new every morning and his grace because of his grace and his grace alone with his breath in our nostrils we are pressing on and we all of us know what is the annual theme annual theme is jesus is the way the truth and the life and during the last 6 months we have looked into the first and the second aspect of this saying of jesus i am the way i am the truth and this month we are going to meditate upon the word life the third aspect in this sayings of jesus christ life when jesus said i am the life one should be looking into both old testament as well as in the new testament in the old testament we see it is very much in the physical sense and in the new testament it is in the spiritual sense and when we mention the word life particularly during this pandemic it makes us all to think about the physical life more than the spiritual life because we all of us agree with each other this life with what we are blessed cannot be taken for granted and it is a gift from the lord and how we have to preserve in order to see the next day because these are the situations created by pandemic so during this month as we are going to meditate upon this theme and based on this theme that is jesus's life 
we will be looking into various passages with subtopics. And we as pastors, we are sure the Lord is going to minister to us throughout this month from His Word. And I have chosen few verses in order to share on this topic, Jesus' life, very briefly. We see Jesus saying, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, it shall he live. This is from John chapter 11, verse 25. The life, when we say the life, it is a larger and inclusive idea. So resurrection is involved in life as an incident developed by the temporary and clear triumph of death. All true life is in Christ. In Him is lodged everything that is essential to life in its origin, its maintenance, and its consummation. And all this is conveyed to the believer in his union with Him. Only when we are united with Him, 24 into 7, we can understand how our life is so essential and its origin is in Christ Jesus and how he maintains and how the consummation takes place. So this life is not affected by death. Every believer is in reality and forever sheltered from death. It's as though Jesus said, as had said, in me death is certain to live and the living is certain never to die. Got it. One of the commentators has said this. So in Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 20, there we could see God saying to Moses, part B, and that you may love the Lord your God, listen to his voice and hold fast to him. Why? For the Lord is your life. For the Lord is your life. So God offered this people life because he is our life. We receive from him not only physical life in our first birth, but also spiritual life through our second birth. And that is why I said one should run through both Old Testament as well as the New Testament in order to understand that Jesus is life. Birth involves life. And spiritual birth from above involves God's life. John uses the word life 36 times in his gospel. The opposite of life is death. And the person who has not believed on Jesus Christ does not have God's life, eternal life, abundant life. So we do not manufacture Christians any more than we manufacture babies. The only way to enter God's family is through the new birth, John says in chapter 1, verses from 11 to 13. And this morning I would like to share a few thoughts from these two verses from the book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 25 and 28. Paul, he talks about how this life we have received from above. So in Acts chapter 17 verse 25 B, he says, He giveth to all life and breath and all things. He giveth to all life and breath and all things. He not only breathed into the first man the breath of life, but still breathes it into every man. He continues to breathe. And that is why we keep thanking a Lord who is the breath of our life. He gave us these souls. He formed the spirit of man within him. He not only gave us our life and breath when he brought us into being, but he is continually giving them to us. So it is not some years back when we were born to our earthly parents. There we started and it is going on. Every minute, every second, it is the Lord who keep breathing His breath. And that is why with His breath in our nostrils, 
we are worshiping him we are acknowledging that he is the author and the finisher of our life so <clears throat> his providence is a content is a continued creation he holds our souls in life every moment of breath goes forth but he graciously give it us again the next moment we do not know whether we have taken time to realize this it is he who keep giving even when our breath goes down he gives his breath it is not only his hair that we breathe in but it is his, but it is in his hand that our breath is see daniel says to belshazzar in chapter 5 verse 23 but you did not honor the god who holds in his hands your life and all your ways why he said this he said this because of the pride and the wickedness of belshazzar if you read the entire chapter of daniel chapter 5 you will know the wickedness the sinfulness which was not uh, tolerated by yahweh so daniel says it is the lord who holds in his hand your life and all your ways dear friends as we have stepped into the 7th month of this year 2021 by his grace and his mercies let's keep saying jesus is life and from him we have received this gift of life as well as salvation and he is holding on to our life and how much we should be obedient and all in all our ways we should be pleasing we should be bringing honor glory to his holy name we are not on our own we are bought with a price and completely we belong to him so the lord reminds us this morning at the beginning of this new month that this very breath what we are holding on what we are enjoying it is from jesus who is alive so he gives to all the children of men their life and breath for as the meanest of the children of men live upon him and receive from him so the greatest the wisest philosophers and mightiest monarch cannot live without him he gives to all not only to mankind but to the inferior creatures to all animals every creature that has breath of life as it is said in genesis chapter 6 verse 17 so they have their life and breath for him and where he gives life and breath he gives all things all are the things needful for the support of life so dear friends during this pandemic the lord in a very very special way he is encountering with us on a given day yes because of the news what we keep hearing on a given day about people falling sick people dying and thousands and thousands of people getting affected and how even the life is disturbed because of this pandemic many things we are surrounded by and our minds are clogged with the news about covid-19 but in the midst of all these things the lord is reminding us i am the life i am the life and it is me who has breathed my breath into your physical body and i have created you wonderfully fearfully and then act 1728 part b says for in him we live and more and have our being three things paul talks about for in him we live and more and have our being for in him we live the expression in him evidently means by him by his originally forming us and continually sustaining us no words can better express our constant dependence on god in him he is the original fountain of life and he upholds us each moment commentator matthew paul says he is the god that made us preserves us and not we ourselves he keeps us in the hollow of his hand and compasseth up parts commentator gill says 
the natural life which men live is from god and they are supported in it by him and from him they have all the comforts and blessings of life beautiful understanding therefore apart from him our life would decay and being extinguished as a flame which had been suddenly deprived of its sustaining element so dear friends let us continue to say is yes, my life is in him in christ jesus that talks about how much 100% i am dependent the lord who has created me who is graciously enabling me to see the next minute the next day and then the second word we see and move the word does not refer to the motion of persons from place to place but to those internal movements of the mind and spirit of which the outward actions are the effect paul means that the feelings of men are acted on by god who speaks to the heart through all nature if men will but hearken again i'll repeat to you paul means that the feelings of men are acted on by god who speaks of the heart through all nature if men will but hearken so apart from him we are not only lifeless but also helpless gill says all motions whether external or internal of body or of mind or of god and none of them are without the concourse of his providence and strength assistance from him though the disorder and irregularity of these motions whereby they become sinful if i put it in a simple words if our motions are not controlled by the omnipresent god then our motions will lead us into sinfulness and devil will have his say so the being and the maintenance of it and continuance in it are all owing to the power and providence of god thirdly says and have our being this denotes that our continued existence is owing to him that we live at all is his gift that we have power to move is his gift and our continued and prolonged existence is his gift also thus paul traces our dependence on him from the lowest rhythm of life to the highest powers of action of continued existence it would be possible to express in more emphatic language our entire dependence on god in him we are apart from him we should not only cease to be what we are but we should cease to be at all it is only the hand of god that step in between us and total destruction dear friends from these two verses the lord reminds us as i am the life from me through me you have received this gift of life and how i am protecting you how i am preserving you when you are completely dependent on me in john chapter 10 verses 14 and 15 beautifully jesus brings in the picture how as a shepherd he comes in to protect us i'll read to you these verses i am the good shepherd i know my sheep and my sheep knows uh, know me just as the father knows me and i know the father and i lay down my life for the sheep i lay down my life for the sheep i have other sheep that are not of this this sheep pen i must bring them also they too will listen to my voice and there shall be one flock and one shepherd so we all of us know this passage well so from this illustration we could see how jesus he lays his life for his sheep and if you read the previous verses you will see there how the other who comes like a shepherd a thief is only to steal the life but here we see jesus as a good shepherd he comes to lay his life in order to protect us so as we go through this month dear friends the lord keep reminding us how we should be thankful for this 
life with what he has blessed us and then how he has brought in the spiritual aspects in our life as i have already mentioned so as we continue to press on in this physical and spiritual life let's keep acknowledging lord my very existence is for the people around to know how much i am in you and how much you are conducting me you are moving my motions and how much my entire being is expressing the dependence on you yesterday i was talking to one person and i just said unless an individual a family a church is studying the word of god will not or cannot understand the mind of god unless we spend time both in the word as well as in prayers whatever we think that we are doing for god connecting ourselves to some fellowships to some church we think that without involving in these exercises we think that we are still in the work of the lord but our minds are not tuned to god to do his things so our motions will be different and that is why there are so many untoward things and unwanted elements within us our family our church our society so when we keep practicing this uh, spiritual journey with fear and trembling we know how much we are in him how much we are moved by him and how much the lord is preserving us so as a lord has enabled us to enter into this new month he himself will continue to hold on to our right hand and he will walk along with us he will guide us he will provide every other need of us and we as a family as a larger family will continue to keep thanking him even at the end of this month we will say lord we thank you for speaking to us from various passages based on various uh, um, uh, on various topics based on various passages and we are sure that all our meditations during this month will enable us to get more and more closer to him acknowledging that jesus is the life may the lord continue to speak to us for our closing of this morning service let us sing together take my life and let it be consecrated
Let us look unto the Lord in prayer. Gracious Father, once again we thank you and praise you, Lord, for this new month and also the new beginning you have given to us. As we have meditated, Lord, you are our life. In you we move, in you we plan, in you everything is designed for us. Help us, Lord, that throughout this month and also the days to come, we would see the life in Christ, the light of God will continue to guide us and lead us into the greater glory. We know, Lord, that without you, we do not have anything to boast. You are our good shepherd who laid your life for all of us to have eternal life. Therefore, Master, this morning once again, we thank you for Reverend Paul Singh. Continue to bless his ministry. And also, Lord, let the meditation which has come to us, we would continue to think and how the Lord has given us life and how the Lord is sustaining our lives on the earth day by day by his grace. Be with us and bless us, Lord. Glory to your name. We pray in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God the Father and fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with you all and remain with you all, now and forevermore. Amen.